Church, how are we this morning? You guys doing good? Amen. Let's just look to the Lamb. Everyone just look to the Lamb. Oh, Lord, we love you, Jesus. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. Verse 11, he says, you will show me the path of life and in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Lord, in you there is fullness of joy. There is the fullness of joy. You are the fullness of joy. You guys have to believe it for yourself that when he comes in the room, joy walks in. That when he comes in the room, every weight, every heavy thing that has been holding you down will come off because he is joy everlasting. He's the eternal one. Everyone look to the Lamb, the eternal one. Christ crucified, Jesus, we worship you this morning. You are welcome here this morning. You are welcome here, Jesus. Have your way this morning. In your precious name we pray. Amen.
going to stay in this pocket um, today. I wanted to share with you real quick a verse that I just keep hearing in my spirit. Just real quick though. Dear Jesus, do whatever it is you want to do today, Lord. 
don't let us get in the way, Jesus. We don't want to produce something, Lord, but we don't want to miss it at the same time, Lord. So Jesus, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We say move and have your way, Lord. We just want to be yielded vessels today, God. Whatever it is, Lord, you want to do, Lord, do it. Oh, Jesus, we welcome you, Lord. You're so beautiful. Fairest one of all, Jesus. The fairest one. Most holy, most holy, Jesus. High and lifted up above all the things of this world, Jesus. Nothing can compare to you, Lord. Make us simple, Lord. Rework our hearts, Jesus. Remove all the things, God, all the mixture out, Lord. Remove all the mixture, God. Prune us, Lord. Prune this church, God. Purify us, Lord. We know that more fruit comes when you prune, Lord, but the pruning is painful, God, but we welcome it if that's what you want to do, Lord. We welcome it, God. Prune us, Lord. Show us things, Holy Spirit, in our life that don't belong, God. I pray that a wave of repentance will hit us, Lord. A wave of repentance will hit us, Lord. Our children, God, will hit this nation, God, that will hit the world, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we love you. We love you, God. Look, Paul said we want to see ourselves rightly, Lord. Help us take a healthy evaluation of ourselves, Lord. Help us not see ourselves in the wrong light, God, Jesus. Help us see ourselves rightly, Lord. We want to evaluate our hearts, God, and ask the why behind everything that we do, Lord. We want to please you, Jesus. We want to please you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. Settle our hearts today, God. Settle us, Lord. Settle us, Lord. We worship you, King. We worship you, King. Name above every name, Jesus. You're the name above cancer. You're the name above depression. You're the name above fear. You're the name above worry. You're the name above anxiety, Lord. You're the name above pride. You're the name above every sickness. All has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus, Lord. You're the name above all, Lord. You're higher, you're higher, you're higher than anything in this world, Lord. You're higher, you're higher, Lord. Your ways are higher. They're beyond what we could even imagine, Lord. You're higher than it all, God, Jesus. Higher, Lord, higher. Take us higher with you, Jesus. Take us higher with you, Lord. From glory to glory to glory to glory, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus, oh, Lord. Don't let this lift, Jesus. Don't let it lift, Lord. Not today, not tomorrow, Lord. Not the next day, Lord. We love you so much. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. Thank you, God. You stretch out your arm, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We love you, Jesus. I don't even know what verse I was going to read but it's okay. Um, we're not going to touch this today. I feel like the Lord is doing something. I don't know about you, but I, like, my body is like stirring inside. Um, real quick, I'm going to have everyone just go to their seats, but just keep your heart present. And I'm going to have um, Esther come up real quick. Um, I'm going to have you quickly do offering, quickly. And then I'm going to have you share some of the things that we felt God was doing. And then um, Michael is, uh, he'll be here tonight, but right now our son has a tournament. But he woke up and um, I had a message prepared and he said, just be really sensitive to what the Lord's doing in the room. You might not get to your message today, Jess. And I said, it's funny. I kind of feel, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it always happens to me that way. Um, but I was like, I kind of feel that too. And I just kept having dreams and I might share some of them in a moment with you. Um, but I just, I just know I want more. So that's all I know. Um, uh, worship team, your choir, you're welcome to go sit down as well. Um, just please go quietly, and worship team, you're welcome to also 
go and David, I'll keep you close by and Joel and um, yeah, I'm not just go and no clapping or anything like that right now. Twenty four. Starting in, in twenty two and it says, Then Arona said to David, Let my Lord the King take and offer up what seems good to him. Here are the oxen for the burnt offering, and the threshing sledges, and the yokes of the oxen for the wood. All this, O king, Arona gives to the king. And Arona said to the king, May the Lord your God accept you. But the king said to Arona, No, but I will buy it from you for a price. I will not offer burnt offerings to the Lord, my God, that cost me nothing. And the Lord is moving here. In the scriptures, it says that where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. And I love how David, he wanted to be invested in building an altar for the Lord. He refused. He wanted his heart to be in it. And I feel like today as we're giving offering, the Lord is moving here. And we have an opportunity to sow in to what he's doing. And let us not come and just offer him a song. Let's give him something costly. So today, Jesus, Lord, we want to give you everything. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jesus. You are here. Lord, we want to give into your hands. Lord, I pray for the reality of your nearness, for the fear of the Lord to rest upon each one of us, God, that we're not just giving into a bucket, Lord, but we are sowing into what you are doing, Lord. Help us to give you something costly. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you're in the room and you would like to give, you can simply raise your hands and Usher will be with you. If you're watching online and you want to be a part of what the Lord is doing, you want to sow into what he's doing, we invite you. You can text the number on your screen. Um, instead of an offering video, I'm just going to have Joel play while you guys, you're welcome to come down and, um, and give the Lord your offerings.
the only one that feels the sweetness of the Lord today? Okay, <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Um, Michael sent a video that he wanted to share. Do we have that ready, Zach? Yeah. I am in the woods and wanted to come to you because I'm really stirred and hungry. Um, last week in Jesus' school, the Holy Spirit fell multiple times. Multiple times, and our students sat for hours and hours in the presence of God. I say that because I want us to be open this morning. The Holy Spirit, move. come, Holy Spirit, and touch us. I want our hearts to be open this morning. I see the Lord moving at different college campuses now all over America. The way he fell at Jesus School twice now for hours. Our students sat last week. We need to be ready. And so I want us to be ready this morning. Open, guilty, without agenda. And the same for tonight. I want you to come home. I will be in the house tonight worshiping Jesus. I believe in God that he is going to move and trust us and give us more than what he's given us over this last few weeks. We see this. I think there's something on the Lord touching the young people. We must yield. We must come. This is the hour. I feel that. The wind is blowing. It may never blow again this way for decades. So let's show up and be with Jesus. How we need him. I love you. Father, move. Move and touch us. Amen. Amen. I know it was windy, but I think you guys got the point. Um, you know, obviously today is a day where a lot of people gather and watch the Super Bowl, but we're going to gather for Jesus. I'm hungry for the Lord, you know. I want more, and um, if we could get Esther, you can come, and the students. Um, God's been touching. Um, he's been really moving in our school lately in a way that he never has before. And he's been moving with the children and I think Michael's right, like he said. That's what I've been um, dreaming like crazy this week. And I'm not one to just jump on every dream, but you know, when you when you hear the Lord, you know which dreams are the Lord and which ones are just your imagination. You know, you got to know the difference. But I've been having so many dreams about God encountering us in such fresh, tangible way, and I want it. And if you don't want it, you're free to go, but we want it here. And I don't mean that in a mean way, but if you came to be a spectator, we probably aren't going to entertain you because that's not why we're here today. We want more of Jesus. We want more. I don't know what that looks like. I'm sure it's messy. I'm sure there's so much that goes into that, but... He's moving. He's moving in our country. Like Michael said, we're, we're getting calls from our friends. Even Brian called this morning and said, God's moving in his church. And you're seeing what God is doing in college campuses all across the nation. And we're hearing from Ben and in Europe. I mean, he's moving, friends. He's moving. He's moving. And it's time to jump into that river. And like I was reading this morning about Isaac, you know, those wells that Abraham had. They had dirt in them, and he had to go undig those wells. And there was resistance. You know, remember the first two, there was, there was great resistance in trying to dig those dormant wells up. And, but he kept going. He didn't stop. And I feel like that's the invitation the Lord is inviting us into today. Like, don't stop. Just keep going. He's right there on the other side of the resistance's breakthrough. And it's not about us. It's about him. Sometimes we hear these things and we go, oh, yeah, I need the breakthrough for me. No, 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 it's not. It's, oh my gosh, there's such a deeper level of this breakthrough, my friends. There's so much more. It's not even about you. Yes, you'll be blessed, but it's about him. It's about him. And Isaac had to keep going to undig those wells. And finally, it says in the third one, it finally something broke. And then that water flowed, that water flowed. And that's what I feel like God is doing. Not just here, so many other places, it's like, who is willing to pay the price? Who is willing to keep going? 
I love when God marks us on days like today. It's like, who are the hungry ones that are gonna show up when a lot of people are at home watching TV? Who's the ones that's gonna come? There's nothing wrong with that. I do that too sometimes, just going like, who are the hungry ones? Who are the hungry ones that are willing to come when other people stay back? I wanna be that hungry one. I don't know how else to say it. But God's been moving, and I keep having dreams about our children, and I want to have Esther come because I shared this with her. Um, I was a little late in worship this morning because I was just trying to put all the pieces together and get my message together this morning. And then Michael called like he always does, and he goes, I feel like the Lord might do something, so just be ready to get out of the way if that's what happens. And I said, I, you know, it's so funny that I felt that this morning. I felt like God is doing something new here, and I want to just jump in and, and not resist. At the same time, like I said when I was praying, you don't want to circulate fake waves because that's not real either. You just want to get out of the way and just yield to the river. That's all you want to do, and that's all you can do when he starts moving. But I keep having these dreams. Esther, you can come here. I keep having these dreams with the children and I was telling Esther, I had a dream a few nights ago. I've, I've had two dreams this week with Bill Johnson, and I, I sent him one this morning um, that I'm not going to share yet. But um, I had a dream that there were just people coming here to, to, from every nation, every tribe. There were people like down the street. There was like lines everywhere. And it's not about numbers. I'm just saying people were hungry coming after the Lord. And there was something about the kids' ministry, like people, there was not enough room to take in all of these children that were coming from all over the world. And I remember running around thinking, we don't have the capacity or the space to fit them. And Bill Johnson was sitting at the entrance and as I was saying that, he goes, no, let them all in, let them all in, let them all in, let them all in. And it's like he had this authority in the spirit, even though it was here. And he was going, no, 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 don't stop. Let them in, let them in, let them all come in, make way, make way, make way, make space for the children. And then we went into that room where you guys gather, the FLC, um, which is crazy. That's where I used to do, we had chapels when I was a kid in that room and my dad would come and we'd do Holy Spirit Week and the Lord fell on us as children in that room where the kids actually meet right now. And um, we went into that room in the dream and the room was just packed with kids. It was so packed that we had to go into the gymnasium because we didn't have enough space. And when we went into the gymnasium, um, God was moving on the kids and then a healing wave broke out in the adults. And then I remember saying, we gotta go share it with the church. We have to share it with the church. So there's something on God touching our children. And I want that. And I won't share the whole dream I had last night, but that was part of my dream is my little girl who's 11, God encountered her. And now she was sitting in my lap and God was encountering her and she was crying and shaking and then it hit all the children and then it hit us. And Esther, just share a little bit of what God's been doing with the kids because I really feel like it's gonna start with them, I feel. Share whatever you feel to share. So sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. This has just been a cry in my heart for so long, so. When Jess was sharing this, it just, everything hit me just because the last few weeks, the Lord's been moving in a wild way. Um, and it just started actually two weeks ago. I wanted to read this. Um, a little girl, seven years old, started prophesying in the class in the middle of worship. And she came up to one of our teachers and she said that she was seeing Jesus in visions and throughout the room, walking around. She expressed to the teacher how she saw the cross and has had dreams about kids ministry. And in those dreams, it was the entire classroom. And then suddenly Jesus came dressed all in white with trumpets playing. And they said the whole room Everyone gathered to the middle of the room and the Lord started speaking to them through the students and his presence was so near. And then she, she, this little girl started walking around the room and prophesying over the teachers that it would start with us. And our team has just get, been getting wrecked by the Lord. We 
had an annual training for our um, for our kids ministry, and the Lord came in such a powerful way that all of the kids ministry was on the floor, literally almost the whole room, rolling around the room, sobbing, shaking, crying, and we just started um, interceding for this next generation that we would see a move of the Lord, and instantly that little girl, the girl who prophesied. The Lord was telling me it's starting with your team because we, we've been seeing the Lord move this week. And the Lord's like, it's starting, it's starting. He's awakening a purity to see the Lord. And I feel like he's been refining us, refining us. And these kids are hungry for the Lord. Just last week, I had a seven-year-old run up to me and said that he got filled with the Holy Spirit in his room the night before that he was watching and his mom walked into the room and she started screaming. She thought something was wrong with him because he was crying and shaking. And he said the presence, he was listening to a message on his phone from a pastor sharing. And he said that he was like, teacher, all my bones started to tense up and he said that he felt the Lord come upon him and he was crying and shaking for an hour. His mom was saying the Lord just completely filled him and we've been seeing that over and over. A little girl just had a vision of the Lord. Heaven opened up and he heard Joshua 5, 1 and the Lord said, don't be afraid. And it just like the kids are just seeing the Lord and we've been seeing him come and I just feel like there's this awakening coming and yeah. Why don't you pray? Let's pray uh, for the children. If you're a parent, if you're not a parent, we want the Lord to touch this generation. Esther, just let's pray. You pray, Esther. You lead us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank yes, you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, we just thank you that you said in the last days, Lord, that you would come, Lord, in dreams and visions and prophecy, Lord, that you would pour your spirit out, God, on all generations, Lord. So we ask that you would come, Lord, that you would start a move of the Lord, God, that you would come, that you would encounter this next generation, Lord. Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. I just pray, God, for a hunger, Lord, to know you, Lord, that it would rest upon the infants, God, from the, all the way from zero, all the way up, God, that this generation would burn for you, Lord. I just pray, God, that you would come, Lord, for healings. I just pray for salvations, for encounters, Lord, that you would use this generation, God, that even though the world is going an opposite direction, Lord, that you would use this generation, Lord, to show the beauty of Christ, Lord that we would see a revival, God. Lord, would you trust us with your presence, Jesus? Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Would you help us steward it? Lord, I pray that you would rest upon every parent, God, in every house, Lord. I just pray there would be houses of worship, houses that would steward you, Lord, that you would come upon moms and dads, Lord, even at night, God, as they're praying for their children. I pray that you would enter the room, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord, and amen. We say yes and amen, Lord. Is there anyone in the room that's been praying for a child that has gotten away from the Lord and you're believing a prodigal child? You just want to lift your hand in the room because there's several. If you're watching online and you've been believing God for your children, maybe they were burning before, maybe they're not burning anymore, and you're believing God to touch your children. We want to pray right now for you. If you're near that person, if they're okay with it, you can just put your hand on their shoulder. And for those of you watching online, you can get in on this as well. Thank you, Lord. Save our children, Lord. Save them, Jesus. I thank you, God, for all of those prodigal sons and daughters, Lord, that are running away, Lord, that are running away, running away from you, Jesus. Running away, Lord, for the calling that you have on their life, Jesus. We pray them back in Jesus' name. 
We pray them back today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Your word says if two or more gather and agree in asking anything, Lord, in your name, then it shall be done. And we know it's your will, God, that these children come home. So we say, come home in Jesus' name. Come home in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. Let it be quick. Let it be fast, Lord. Let it not be longer than it needs to be, God. Thank you, Jesus. And let it last, God. Let it last in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We say yes and amen. Yes and amen. We agree as a church family. Thank you, God, for many, many testimonies of these children coming back, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Um, Amy Grave, you want to come up here too just for a moment? And you stay here, Esther. Uh, we wanted to share with what God's been doing um, at our school. He's been moving. I mean, we're five years in now, and he's been moving in a way this year like we've never experienced before. Um, and I don't even know if I have language for it, and we can try our best to talk about what God's doing, but... You know, when you give a testimony, you're saying, do it again, Lord. And I really feel like you guys need to just testify what God is doing at the school. So, Josh, yeah, we'll start with you. Um, like Jessica said, when I was asked to share, I didn't even know how to put words to what happened on Wednesday. But literally from 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock when we left, it was just wave after wave mm -hmm. after wave of the Lord encountering us. I'd never experienced the Lord like that. I'd never experienced the joy of the Lord in that way, probably my whole life. The joy that just sprung out of me that day is something that I've never encountered through the Lord. And so as I went on my week this week, I noticed that since that day, I feel so much lighter. And when the times, you know, when I go to work, in times, you know, when that memory fades away and things get harder throughout the week, I was able to tap back into that moment with the Lord that I had there. And just, I can't explain what happened that day. It was just the presence of the Lord. And when you thought it was over, here would come another wave of his presence mm -hmm. and you would experience him in another way. And it, whether it was his joy or his peace or just his goodness or the unity that he was doing in the school that day, it just kept coming and kept coming and it just, he would not relent. Like it went all day long. Well, it happened twice at school. And so it happened last Wednesday and uh, one, of our, um, one of our students told us it, it's happened at another college campus here in America that a lot of people are talking about. I think it hit at the same time, if I'm not mistaken, at the same time, uh, one of our students has a daughter that goes there and called her student and said, the Lord is moving right now at Jesus School. And the daughter said, it's hitting right now where we are in our college campus. So God is doing something new. And I'm sharing this because we can all jump in and all partake in what God is doing and celebrate what God is doing other places. That's the key too. You have to celebrate what God's doing. And and to say, Lord, don't leave me out. We want, we want to be a part of it too. But I thought that was crazy. Ryan told me that this morning, that right when it hit us on Wednesday, it was hitting in another college campus. And um, it's hit twice, like I said, at school, where I'll get a text from Ryan or Amy, and they're like, the Lord is moving. What do we do? And I'm like, don't touch it. Just leave it alone. And they don't even get to the, their curriculum or schedule that day. And we want that, don't we? And he did it at youth uh, two weeks ago, I believe. He did it at youth too, or, or three weeks ago, where the Lord just moved. And the youth, I think the parents, you guys came to pick up your kids and they didn't want to leave because they were worshiping the Lord. Oh man, do it more, Lord. Okay, Lou, do you share what God did? Yes, I think similar to Josh, I just didn't really have the language. But um, Wednesday we didn't have the smoothest sound check and rehearsal time, but it didn't even matter because when we started worshiping, we were singing that song, Holy, and we just kept repeating that verse, sing a song that won't grow old, the name that all of heaven knows. And I don't know, like, that became so real to me in that moment, and it just felt like the veil was so thin, like the Lord really wanted to show himself to us 
and reveal Jesus in that way. And he's a song that never grows old. He's the message of old that just is still alive. And he just encountered us in a beautiful way. And it felt like we were just drinking from the river of his delight. Honestly, I don't know how else to say it. Like we were just in the river and it was just waves. It would be still for a moment and then high praise and just waves. I heard there was no flesh. I remember Ryan and Amy said that there's nothing, no flesh. People weren't getting restless or anything like that. Like there was a stillness that came in the room. Wow, it's beautiful. You share what God's doing. one song and um, when they dismissed us we stayed there we kept singing because the Lord was so close and whenever we got done we started to pray for the worship team and pray for everyone and um, I wanted to go over there and pray for Ludi and pray for um, everybody that was on the worship team and whenever I went up on the the platform to go over there to pray. I just got hit with the joy of the Lord, but laughing and crying at the same time. I don't even know what that is, but (laughs) I was just laughing and crying at the same time when I couldn't stop. And I look up and there's a sea of everybody just on the floor in between the first aisle and the stairs. And they just said like, just come, come to the river, come. The Lord is really moving down here. And so me and Ludi and whoever else was up there, we came down and we were just laughing like uncontrollably. I didn't even know I could make sounds like the way that I was making. Um, But I, (laughs) everybody heard me snort and that was embarrassing. But um, yeah, and I just got filled with joy and I've been praying, Lord, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and feeling this heaviness the past few weeks. And it was a truly a breakthrough moment. Fear left me like I am not the same. I was just telling the choir in the back that I am not the same. Like what? Something happened to me. Like nothing. I'm completely different. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Why don't you? Why don't you pray? Why don't you pray? Release that to us. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We love you, Lord. There's no one like you. Oh, you're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. Oh, we worship you and adore you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Oh, we love you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I just ask that you continue what you started. That you would continue what you started, Lord. Lord, we are hungry for more of you. We're hungry for more of you, Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, give us the strength and capacity. Lord, we want to see your glory. We want to know your ways. We want to know your heart. Jesus, we want to know you. We want to know you, Lord. There's nothing else. There's nothing else but you. No, there's nothing else. You are the treasure, Jesus. Just pray in the spirit for a moment, guys. Just pray in the spirit. Just keep praying, just keep praying, just for a moment. Just for a moment. Thank you, Jesus.
Could you come just get on the violin just for a moment? Just be ready.
verse. You gotta learn the verses. In his presence, there is joy beyond measure. That's what he's doing today, yeah.
Just the church voices, just the church. keep praying and you just keep playing and singing but I cannot let a moment like today go by without giving you the invitation to make it right with Jesus today just keep praying church to give your life to Jesus if you've never known him or you've grown cold I want to invite you down here to the altar to dedicate your life to Jesus today if it's for the first time or if you've grown cold if you become lukewarm you guys can come down whenever you want I want to give you an invitation to know the King of Kings. Lord, we don't want to hold back anything from you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. God bless you, sir. We love you. Thank you, Jesus. If you've grown lukewarm, if you've grown cold, if you feel like you were burning before, but you're not burning anymore, get down here. Today is the day, Lord. Today is the day to rededicate your life to Jesus. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Keep praying, church. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you're bound, if you're bound by addiction of any kind, if you're bound to lust or pornography, if you're bound by drugs and alcohol, if you're bound by momentary pleasure, get down here. Jesus is going to overwhelm you with his satisfaction. He's the one that satisfies. He's the one that satisfies. No drug can ever satisfy you. No momentary pleasure will be lasting. It's all counterfeit. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Again, I just keep hearing first love. If you want to dedicate your life to the Lord, if you've grown cold, if you're living lukewarm, one foot in, one foot out, one foot in the world, one foot in the church, you can't seem to break the cycle. I want to invite you down here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just keep ministering to the Lord. I just want to read this passage over you. It's one of my favorites about Jesus. It says, He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weakness he carried. It was our sorrow that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins, but he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us like sheep have strayed away. We have left God's path to follow our own. My friend, if you have left the path of God to follow your own way, I also want to invite you down here to follow the way of Jesus. If you fall on your own path, if you've gotten in the way of what God wants to do, you could even be a Christian for years and years and years, but we have this thing where we want to go our own way. We need to yield to what the Lord's doing. If that's you, I want to invite you down here as well. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep loving on the Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we don't want to hold anything back from you, Lord. We don't want to hold anything back, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. this together as a church dear Jesus we give you all of us forgive us Lord for the things that we've done forgive us Lord for the sin in our life forgive us Lord when we haven't put you first we surrender our will to you today we give you all of us Jesus we thank you Lord that the Bible says you drive our sins as far as the east to the west. And we thank you, Jesus, that you redeemed us. Cover our minds with your precious blood. We give you our sin. We yield our life over. Take all of us, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just want to pray a blessing over you real quick I wouldn't miss tonight I don't know what God's doing but I just feel like there's something fresh like a fresh wind that's hitting us so Holy Spirit we welcome you we won't put limitations on you we welcome you to do all that it is you want to do in our life Jesus Lord purify us God in the deepest way purify us down to the cellular level God just purify our hearts Lord Lord, teach us to forgive. If there's anyone that's holding on to any unforgiveness, let it go. Let it go in Jesus' name today. We forgive those, Lord. We forgive those that hurt us, God. We forgive those that wronged us, Lord. We forgive ourselves, God. We forgive, we forgive, we forgive. We give it to you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Your word says that we are new creations in Christ Jesus. We're new creations, Lord. And we don't take that lightly, Lord. We thank you, God, for your precious blood. Now, Holy Spirit, move, God, move, 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 Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for all you've done, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. Yeah, and Lord, heal the broken bodies, Lord, in the room today. Heal those that are sick, Lord. Heal those that need a fresh healing from the Lord, Jesus. Lord, you know every need, God. You know the needs. You know the hairs on our heads, God. So, Lord, whatever it is, God, arthritis, Lord, eye issues, heart issues, Lord, whatever it is, Jesus, heal, Lord, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord. Heal marriages, heal families, God. Heal everything from A to Z and in between, Lord. Everything, God, everything, Jesus. We trust you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Can you let the Lord know how much you love him? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. love you guys so much. Like I said, I wouldn't miss tonight. Um, or my, my bones are turning. Am I the only one? No? Okay, good. So get here tonight. We will be here. You can watch the Super Bowl after service if you have to that bad. We love you. I'm Jess here. We are standing in the exact location where the headquarters for Jesus Image will be. Local church, Jesus School, uh, House of Bethany, all of that will be located right here. In fact, in the exact spot where Jesse and I are standing will be the beautiful pond in front of the sanctuary where we will most likely be holding baptism services occasionally. So we're so excited. We're right here in Seminole County off of Lake Mary Boulevard. We own this land. God owns this land, I should say. And the building will be right behind us. 
sanctuary, the admin building, and the prayer house. And so listen, we just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for giving. Thank you for praying. Thank you for being so patient and believing with us. We're believing God that the nations will descend on this property, that they will worship Jesus, that the sick will be healed here, that the lost will be saved, that the presence and glory of God will rest here. We want that. We believe this is holy ground and that the tangible glory of Jesus will be right here on this land. And so we want to invite you to come and invite you to be a part of what God is going to do here. Yeah, we are just so very thankful for you. Thank you so much for your prayers and your love and support. We are truly blown away with what the Lord is doing and we cannot wait to have you here with us one day. Yeah, and we're really excited about what we're gonna show you right now. We wanna take you on a journey and show you the incredible design, detail, and vision of what will take place on this property. Our Jesus Image home will be located in the beautiful Seminole County right off of Lake Mary Boulevard. This is a thriving area filled with families, restaurants, and the beautiful amenities that this area provides. The vision of this property is simple. We want the presence of Jesus Christ to be known. We have a deep value for experiencing the Lord in His beauty and the majesty of His creation. This facility will host our local church family, Jesus School, which is our discipleship training program yearly conferences, the Bethany House of Prayer, and it will also be an outreach hub for the state and nation. There is vision behind everything. The location of the buildings, the landscaping, the water features, and of course the architectural design of the buildings themselves all speak to the beauty of the Lord. We want all who enter the property to feel as though they've entered into the peace of the presence of God. With all the stress and turmoil that people face on a daily basis, this will be a place of serenity, worship, reflection, and adoration. Rather than this feeling like a headquarters, we want this to be the house of God and a home for His people. You will notice that the structures themselves have a timeless look and design. From the stonework to the stained glass, it will feel like the house of God. The gospel will be declared from every side of the property in multiple different ways. As you pull into the new Jesus Image home, you will discover a massive parking area that will be framed by and filled with beautiful shrubbery and trees. There will be plenty of room for you and your family. A beautiful drive leads you to the sanctuary building. You will enter through a stone archway. Upon the archway, one of the foundational verses for Jesus' image will be inscribed. This verse carries the heartbeat of our lives and the construction of this house. Only one thing is needed, Luke 10, 42. Upon entering the front door to the main building, you will see a massive gathering area. It is a two-story structure. The first level will be filled with life. This will be a place to congregate with friends and family, to get your children checked into children's church, to eat, or simply enjoy a coffee around a beautiful fireplace. The first level will also house the youth room. We have a major focus on seeing this next generation love Jesus. The youth room will seat approximately 500 people. This room will also serve as the second year facility for Jesus School. Our children's rooms will be located on the first level. This will be a convenient experience for children and parents upon their arrival. Our children will receive amazing Bible teaching, a worship experience, and knowledge of the presence of the Holy Spirit for themselves. The second level of the main building will facilitate working spaces for our board of directors, our staff, and interns. This will be a great blessing for us as we move forward in wisdom as a ministry. As you know, God has graced Jesus' image with a massive reach through media. Thousands have come to Jesus, and so many have been healed and set free through our media ministry. We will have our very own production studio where we can create content and continue to stream live to the nations. We will release podcasts, social media content, videos, and much more. 
multiplied millions have watched our media content, and we believe our creative team will flourish in this new space as they step out into this vital and anointed calling. As you walk across the main gathering space, you will discover the sanctuary. What an amazing space this will be. While we will have state-of-the-art technology in the sanctuary, the space will take you back in time, a time when churches had a sacred feel to them. You will discover beautiful stained glass behind the platform. Stained glass will line the sides of the sanctuary as well, all telling the gospel story of Jesus. There will be timeless wood beaming and stonework throughout. We long for his presence to fill this place, and it will be a home for you as well. We will seat approximately 1,500 people, yet it will not lose the personal feel that we so deeply value. The platform will be spacious with plenty of room for ministry, our worship teams, and of course, a baptismal. You will notice a round stained glass image on the back wall of the sanctuary depicting a dove in fire descending in the room. May the Holy Spirit fill our hearts each time we gather as a church family. The sanctuary space will also serve Jesus School. This will house our hundreds of first year students as well as our general school sessions. These students will be missionaries to the nations of the world and to their generation. The gospel will be declared from this sanctuary space multiple times per week and people will be raised up from this place to share Jesus with the world. And may millions be saved, healed, and touched by the Holy Spirit. Lastly, for our favorite space on the property, the Bethany House of Prayer. This will be the prayer house for Jesus' image. It will be a place for adoration, silent prayer, reflecting upon the scriptures, and worship. You will notice that the house will be built upon a pond. The setting will be quaint and breathtaking. Stone and wood mark the space with warmth and a traditional look that we believe will transcend generations. We believe this will be the hub of the entire property, a place where intimacy with God and pure prayer ascend before Him. It is named a Bethany House because Bethany was the place where Jesus was loved deeply. Therefore, He rested there. Mary found the better part, and it is our prayer that all who enter will find Jesus there and fall in love with Him. May Jesus be pleased with all that takes place here. May he be adored and worshiped on this property. May his word be taught with clarity, boldness, and love. May his gospel flood the nations, and may the generations to come find him here. Will you stand with us? Will you pray and give toward this vision? Will you give sacrificially for the sake of Jesus and his gospel? Will you be a part of something that will outlive you for the sake of eternity? Thank you. We love you. Jesus is beautiful.